Hey everybody, I am really excited today because we are going to learn how to make mat caps. Exciting! Cool! Okay, where do we start? Uh, you could have a really fancy model, or you could have a sphere, doesn't matter. I'm going to divide this up a few times, control D, 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 get into that nice million spot. Okay, two million polygons or faces, shift F, and then zoom in, they are all over the place, all over the place. Right, okay, F to frame, shift F to turn that off. Now, how do we make a matte cap? Click this colored ball right here, and this is your matte cap library. Okay, so you can choose something like toy plastic. Okay, I love the way that looks, but let's make it interesting. So then, you go up to material, and modifiers, and this is where you, here, let's, let's move this over a little bit so we can see the whole thing in action. Okay, material, this is your matte cap library modifier thing. Okay, so right now if we increase the ambience, it makes the colors more lively and things like that, and then decrease the diffuse. No, no, actually I like, I like the diffuse. And then adjust the diffuse by adding steps. Okay, and then right there, right there. Oh man, one more, okay. Right there. Nope, one right there, one right there. Ah, nope, one more. No, man, what's going on? Ooh, then do something really cool. See that? That's exciting. This right here is our own mat cap. But let's see what this looks like on a model. So BCB, where's my Wacom tablet pen? Okay. Zoom out. Yeah, BCB. Increase our draw size. Okay, and then just start sculpting. Oh, two point million? Oh, that's gonna... Hopefully that's not gonna cause any issues. Oh, it, it moved it back down to 2,000 something. Nice. Looking good. BIN to fill some of these areas that are disappearing. Smooth things out. Okay, what do we have here? A crazy monster. Okay, uh, now let's control D a few times. Right back to where we were. Okay, now we can see a little better of what our mat cap is doing. Uh, let's go back to the materials. <laughs> and move it so where we can see it. Okay, right there. Okay, materials. Let's close this. And then, specular. Let's see what that does. Now we don't have any of that uh, toy plastic look. And we can uh, adjust the specularity of this to make it really crazy. Or we can press uh, reset and noise. Oh, that's interesting. Negative noise. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Shiny. Then go to materials. Let's dock the materials over here. Just to make it easier. Okay. This is our matte cap library. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, now since it's right over there. We don't have to worry about that, so we can frame this and then totally have fun modifying our matte cap. Reflectivity. 
interesting. Whoa, that's cool. Sweet. I like that. Ah, no, don't save. I don't save mat caps. You could. Um, colorized diffuse. So there's no real rhyme or reason to this. I guess if you really studied this for a long time, you you could find some sense to a lot of these uh, dials. But if you're just starting out, just mess around and see what happens. Cavity radius, cavity diffuse. Oh, cavity. Yeah, that's probably cavity maps. Never mind. I'll talk about that later. <clears throat> okay, let's... It's totally out of control. Let's go back up to... Uh, metal. Metal, metal. Re well, let's see. For reflectivity. Okay, that... Yeah. Metal. Ooh, that's interesting. Cool. Nice. Then there was like a metal curve. Where was it? Ooh, specularity. Let's reset this. Yes. Okay, that's better. Now, close that. And then... Let's make a real quick mat cap and save it. Let's see. Noise curve. We don't have any noise, so that's not going to mean much. Close that. And maintain. Uh, ooh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, diffuse color. Let's make it blue. Specular. Green. Ambient. Yeah. Orange. I like orange. Sweet. There we go. And cavity. Purple. Let's see. If I render any of this, let's see if I get any different looks. Ooh, that's interesting. Sweet. So we could... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Array mesh. Array mesh. Repeat a few times. Oh, one million? That's not going to be good. Okay, then. Uh, offset. Y. And then rotate. Y. Oh, that's interesting. Sweet. F to frame. Look what we just made. An ice cream cone. F, um, BPR render. Or if you've got key shot, that would be interesting. I've never experienced key shot, so I'm not sure what that is. But this looks like a good uh, matte cap so after this is done rendering we'll save it and work on another matte cap video no oh, take your time take your time let's see one two three four five six seven right. oh 59 that's nice 59 repeats of uh, 1.9 million, whatever that is. That's quite a bit. That's why it's taking so long to render. It's trying to be very uh, precise. Almost done. Sweet. Okay. Yes. That was uh, okay. This is our object with the map cap that we have created. Now let's create map cap, map cap texture. <gasps> what does that mean? Oh, does that interesting? Oh, let's get back to that later. Um, okay. Co let's see. How do I? Oh yeah. Materials save as. Okay, let's name this. Uh, Orange ice cream. Uh, 
code. Save ZMT. That should have worked. File saved to disk successfully. Okay, so let's start a new project. And we are trying to look for really cool mat caps. No, that's not good. No, but let's load orange ice cream cone. Ta da! There it is. Nice and pretty. Control D a few times. Oh, let's do this one more time. One more time. 22 million. I think it can do it. Subdividing. Be strong. Almost there. Oh, 46 million. Okay, let's frame this. And this is our first map cap material. Orange ice cream cone. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this, stay tuned because I am going to make a lot more map cap creation videos. And you could, if you could, well, let's see. Uh, material load. You could send this to pixelogic.com and they could put this. I guess they would review it for a while, then they could put it in their MadCap library that others all around the world could download, because who doesn't like an orange ice cream cone? Did I spell that right? What is that? Load? I didn't spell it right. That's funny. Well, it orange. You know, O-R-A-N-G-E -E, ice cream cone. But that's got its own nice uh, style and look to it. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.